Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about how we revert from a previous backup within WP Engine and how easy it is. Okay, so once you log into the WP Engine account, go to make sure you're under your right uh, right account if you have multiple accounts. Select the right one. I'm under Shane Web Guy, so that's correct. Go to Sites. So in this case, uh, in this scenario, we'll pretend that, let me, let's check the backup points. Loading. So now I just got the, let's see, I just got this account somewhere around a month ago. So any of these, any of these will be saved. Now the daily checkpoints will go away after after a while, but you can you can initiate your own your own backups. So this was initiated by the system. Backup live. Um, backup clone. Pre clone. So anyway, I'm going to backup from this one right here. So and here's the difference. If you look at the site, let me refresh this just to show you what's going on. GDPR is a new data privacy regulation. So when we revert from the backup, this will say GDPR is the new data privacy. So this could be changes it's because it's going to back up both the files and, and a revert from the backup from both the files and the database. So, okay, let's give this a shot. So restore, check a, a restore point. Restore production backup, store database. This will send to my, to my email. Okay, this is going to take a little while. Let me stop the video while this is running. Okay, that took that took roughly about a minute. Um, sent me an email, finished reverting, Shane Web Guy site, now a checkpoint right here. Um, wonderful support, so if you ever have issues, these guys are pretty good about, uh, you, know, you can chat to these guys. Current wait time in this case is three minutes. Okay, so let's see if this will this thing works. So if it did work, this is going to say GDPR is the, the A will be switched with a the. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, worked like a champ. So it's very easy to do. You have multiple, um, you can initiate your own. Um, you can pull from any point in. The benefit to this, you know, coming from a developer, is if you make a series of changes and you go live and something, you know, something is amiss, you can pull from any checkpoint versus if you have a standard cPanel, you know, that, that could, even if you have, you know, this number of backups, it's going to be pretty cumbersome to try to pull from each one of those to find what version is the one that works. Um, I've seen many cases where you don't even realize the website's broken or an element of the website's broken until days have gone by. So, you know, if you only have a backup from, you know, a month ago, you know, content gets lost and, you know, havoc is created. So, okay, I hope that helps. Thanks.